if you go to speaker view, okay. um, that will, whoever's speaking will be in your main bubble. And then you can even pin the video um, in the top of the right. There's a three, a drop down. You can pin the video so that'll hold as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can play with that too. You can drag it up and down. Oh, fancy. fancy schmancy. Top right on my computer, you've got either gallery view or speaker view. Um, I'm not sure if you're on like an iPad or something where it would be. I haven't used it there. Um, uh, yeah, the top right of your screen with all of us on here, it says speaker view or gallery view. You can also pin it where it says pin. You're in gallery view. Where's Trish? Hey guys. Okay. I'm going to mute us all. We'll get started. Let's start reclining on the back. If you haven't already, start taking some deep breaths in and out.
focus on your breathing. In yoga, we say everything begins and ends with the breath. So starting your mindfulness practice with the breath, gently in, flowing out. And then bring the knees back up and into the chest. Big deep squeeze, maybe curl up into a ball. And release. Stretch your body out long on the mat. Just take some time to wiggle and stretch around. Then make your way up into cross-legged, legs out, maybe you're ready to sit in hero pose, it's all good. If you're taking the cross-legged, see if you can switch out the cross of the legs, find your sits bones. Let's go for some cat cows here and seated. Inhale, arch the back, open the throat. Exhale, hold on and really round, scoop the tail, tuck the chin. So seated cat cows, inhale, exhale to lead you through rocking front to back on your sits bones. Come up to neutral. Let's roll the shoulders back and down a few times. Resist the urge to let the head get heavy. Open up the throat, look up if you can. Really exaggerated shoulder rolls back and down. Release. Side curve. Plant one hand, curve over to the side. Focus on rounding up first and then reach over. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I like to look up and down, move the neck around a little bit, up to you. Find a nice stretch for yourself, something that feels good. Just starting to create some openness, some space in the body. And then pushing down to the bottom hand, sweep up and over other side. Plant, round up first, lifting energy, and then reach over. Find a happy place with the neck. So it's easy to be mindful and compassionate when everything's feeling good. It's easy to be kind to yourself and thoughts. But the more challenges we present, you can push, push yourself up, little back bend, arms go wide, open up. We lose focus, we get distracted, we get busy, the thoughts become more engaging, that's okay. Shoulders down the back, open the chest some more, deep breath. And yoga, yoga gives us an opportunity to sit down on the mat and sort out our thoughts. Interlace the fingers out in front, push the palms forward, round back. So time to reconnect, going inward, moving past the thoughts, the busyness there. Even move past the emotions and what you're feeling. Kind of go deeper into that gut sense. Push through the palms, lift the palms to the sky, lift up one more time, and release the hands out. And if you haven't already, stretch the legs out long in front, give them a shake, move the feet around. Like Neville's going to join me today. All right, let's come into tabletop all fours. Knees wide, big toes together. I start with some hip circles, all different sizes in this direction. Reverse.
Sinking back to child's pose. Maybe the knees stay wide as you go back. Pause in child's pose for a few breaths. If you like a pranayama or breath practice, try inhaling for seven, exhaling for 11. Kind of a long, languid breath. This breath is really nice. It's calming, it's soothing, it's slow. That really long exhale tells our brain to calm down, relax, which in turn soothes our nervous system, which in turn, in turn brings us out of fight or flight, which in turn allows us to be a little softer, more compassionate, yeah? When we feel safe and secure, it's easy to be kind to ourselves. Grounding yourself in child's pose for a couple more breaths. In for seven, out for 11. Right now, you are practicing yoga. When you drift far, far away, come back to that mindful reminder. Right now, your intention is to practice yoga. It can be challenging in a home practice, let that be okay. Whatever you find throughout the practice, it's okay. Let's come up to tabletop all fours. Quick thread the needle. Let's start with the right arm. Inhale and high. Open up. Pause here at the top. Big deep stretch. Look through the top arm. Reach it back. And then threading through. Lean forward. Maybe grab a block or a prop for a pillow. Find the shoulder on the mat, walk it over to the side a lot, and then let the ear rest down. Any variation you like is great. Maybe you're going to take the top hand, stack it on top of the bottom. You could go for the bind behind the back. If you like, you can take the foot out to the side. Maybe you're going to explore something new, be open to different shapes today. Deep breath. One more time. Top hand by the face, bring it back in. Building the exit, inhale, right arm high, open the heart. Release for second side, take your time. Right hand down, left arm high, big inhale, reach, stretch, go back. Leaning forward to thread it through. Take your time. Wiggle the shoulder over to the side. Rest the ear down. Take a moment. Find your steadiness. Building the shape if you like. Arms out. By trying to mimic what you did on the first side. Doesn't always work out and that's okay. Back to your breath. In for seven, out for 11. Exit, bring it back in, hand by the face, take your time, open up to the sky again, open the chest up, reach up, release. Pause for a second here, wiggle around, be in your body, maybe a little cat cow, building the down dog in your own time. So you don't have to do the full variation, the upside down V. You can hang out in the foot stretch, you can hang out in the table or child's pose. Maybe you're ready to lift the hips high. Take it for a walk out. Warm up the legs. Stretch out the calves. Get the head and neck going. From dog or table, let's shift it forward into a plank shape. Make it yours. I like this knees down, feet up variation. Do you? Pelvis lifting up away from the earth, growing long from there. Take a big breath. All the way out. One more full breath here. In for seven. 
out 11. Bend the elbows, lower down. Go ahead and bend the knees, feet to the sky, we'll rock side to side. Trying to supple up the pelvis, the mobile back. That's our grounding point as we build our chest opener here. Okay, legs down to the floor, tops of the feet on the mat. Push the tops of the feet down so much the knees lift. And then scooping your pelvis into the support of the earth. Push it down. Locust pose, upper body half. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest to reach back. Exhale and lower. Pulsing with the breath. Inhale, lift, feet down, knees lift, chest lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift, maybe hold if you want, and incorporate the legs, squeeze the inner thighs together like a block is there. Lift the legs, the chest, take a breath. Release. Shake it out, let it go. Listen to your body. Hands by the chest, downward facing dog shape of your choice. your toes, spread them wide, set them down, folding it deeply, soft bend in the knees at least, trying to get drapey in the spine, shake it out. Now take your fingers underneath your arches. I like to do opposite hand to arch, whatever works better for you. Push the toes into the mat as you lift the arches up. Pulling up into the arches, see if you can fold your body a little deeper. Hands can stay here or release. Lift the knees, energetically take the knees up to the hips. And now energy, think hips to crown. Lengthen over the legs, just a touch more. Bend the knees with all the strong energy in the legs. Rise up to stand, take a big inhale, gather above the head. Hands come to heart. Pause here. So lifting the arches, energetically rising upward. It's what we call an inner core line of strength. So arches lift to knees, knees lift to hips, hips lift to crown. Kind of feeling this balanced action in the body. It's an energetic lift standing tall. Take the hands to heart center. Pause here for a breath. Feel your heart beating in your chest. And know that right now you are practicing yoga. On your next inhale, take the fingers up. Exhale forward back. Inhale, half lift. Think arches to crown, even here. Exhale, and fold. Stepping the left leg back, lunge. We're going to come straight up, shoulders over hips. So maybe you don't go as far back. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Take the arms up, thumbs back. Inhale. Hands to heart center. So here, in this big bilateral stretch, how can we create that inner core line, that kind of stable feeling? So same thing, think arches to knees, knees to hips, hips to crown, like you're rising up out of the earth. Thumbs at the sternum, little twist to the right, a lot or a little. Remember this back knee can be down on the mat. Thumbs at the sternum, twist around. Take a slow, deep breath. Gently bring the body to center. Inhale the arms up. Hands down, freeing the foot. Step it back, plank shape. Breathe in. 
On your exhale, bend the elbows back, lower down. Pause for a second. Be mindful of your pelvis and low back, wanting to feel spacious here. Building your form of locust pose. So maybe it's the upper body or lower body or both. Maybe you want to come into cobra instead. It's all good. Roll the shoulders back wherever you are, whichever variation you choose. Pelvis grounded. Even if you're in that up dog, pelvis is grounding towards the earth. Shoulders to the back, take a big inhale. And as you exhale, release, lower down, shake it out, and listen to your body. Downward facing dog variation. A couple deep breaths. Making your way to the top of the mat, forward bend. Half lift on the inhale. Full deep on your exhale. And think arches to crown. Lift up. Rise from the earth. Arms up. Let's fold right back down. Take your time. Half lift. Bow. Right leg back or other side. Rising up. Anjani Asana. High crescent lunge. Push the feet down. And rise up out of the earth, arches to crown. So maybe even lifting up out of the legs a little bit. <laughs> Take the arms up if you'd like for a moment. Keep that lifting energy. Building twist. Hands at heart center. So focusing on leaning from the heart. Twisting. That nice compassionate twist. Let your heart guide you around. Doesn't matter how far you go, doesn't matter what you look like, we all are getting the same benefit. Take a slow deep breath. Make arches to knees, knees to hips, hips to crown. Sweep it back to center, maybe up. Take a nice long exhale all the way to your plank pose. This is your practice, do what works for you. Feel free to skip or add on. Inhale in a plank shape. Exhale, bend the elbows back lower. One quick breath, locust, cobra, up dog, whatever you choose. Release. Downward facing dog shape. Deep breath. Top of the mat, forward bend. Half lift, open the heart. Bow and rise. Gather up. Back to heart center, namaskar. Three mindful breaths. Really 
slowly, mindfully, let's sweep it forward, arms high to the sky. Slowly down, freeing the foot. Plank variation, breathe in here. Lower down, breathe out. Chest opener, breathe in. Release and return to your dog. Going to the top of the mat, forward bend. Half lift. Bow. Root and rise. Strong legs. Squeeze your buns. Gather up. Bend the knees. Hinge the hips. Fold. Little half lift. Right leg back. Anjani Asana or Warrior One. Either way, hips are square. Feet are wide. Rising out of the earth to begin. Lift from the arches to the crown. Center core line. Hands at heart. Thumbs with the sternum. Reminding us to twist from the heart center. Lead with the heart. Twisting around. Doesn't matter how far you go. This is going well. Maybe arms open. Optional tip back. Keep lifting arches to crown, leading through the heart. Slow, sweep it back up. Rise for a moment. Hands to the mat. Optional flow. I'm going to skip it this time. Feel free to do you. Three or four breaths. Meaning in the dog variation. Top of the mat, forward bend. Half lift. Full. Rise up. Reach up. Maybe a little back is available. Gather at the heart. Take a deep breath. Let it go. Pause here in steady mountain pose. Plug into the feet. See if maybe the eyes will close or soften. Take a moment to breathe. Envisioning your inhale breath is pure white light cleansing you. And your exhale breath is gray cloudy smoke releasing the impurities. Inhaling pure white light Exhaling gray, cloudy smoke. Mindful of the energy you hold towards yourself. Top of the mat. Inhale the fingers up. We're going to build onto that. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half lift. Left leg back and rise. Warrior one or Anjani Asana. Bring it up. Building warrior three. So standing on this front leg and balancing. Any version you'd like, love a block here. Build the earth up to you. Hands at heart center. Long in the body. Start that inner core line of strength. Arches to crown. And then hinge forward. So the more we add on, the easier it is to kind of get lost here. Working the inner core line of strength. Taking your time. Being compassionate. As you build your balance onto the front leg. Play with options here. You can bounce in and out. You can take the hands down to blocks or earth. Call that standing splits instead. If you're feeling adventurous, maybe you're going to take just the left hand down, right hand high, 
revolved Ardha Chandrasana. A great place for blocking that bottom knee is. Do you take one more breath? Let it out. And then bring yourself back into Anjani Asana or Warrior One. Take your time. And simple step it forward. Reach up, thumbs back, gently back. Come to center. Then fold. Half lift. Bow. Building the second side, right leg back, rise up, building from the ground up, inner core line of strength, arches to crown. Hands and heart start with the hinge forward. Lift arches to crown, exploring warrior three on this side. Taking your time, building it. For most of us, the left leg is more flexible, but it's not our dominant strong leg. So it might be a little wobblier. Be open to that. Building your pose. Trying out what you did on the first side to be open to adjustments. Couple breaths. Bring it back, Anjani Asana or Warrior One. Rise for a moment. Simple step forward. Rise up, little back if that's there. Remember, as you lift the chest up to go back, equal and opposite reaction. Take your tailbone down. Gently come to center. Hands meet at the heart. Three cleansing breaths. White light in, gray smoke out. Hopefully that gray smoke is starting to get clearer and wider. Eventually bringing it, breathing in and out pure white light. on the mat going into a wide stance so you can hop the feet wide or you can be a little kinder to the knees by walking the feet wide do you always be kind to your knees and your neck these are kind of two gentle parts of the body that we always kind of want to be a little extra cautious with okay warrior two over the right leg nice parallel feet right toes turn out i have to kick my back heel back to be more comfortable in my hip maybe give that a shot Bend into the knee until you find your front foot, front toe really super strong and rooted. Let's go peaceful warrior to the back. Open the side body for the stretch. Lift up, reach up. Let's add a shoulder stretch here. Bend your top elbow, pat yourself on the back. Yay, you made it. Now grab the top elbow and go back some more. Stretch, stretch. You can take the full cow face grip from here. That top hand releases and goes back. You can continue right here, up to you. Take two deep breaths. 7-11. Then we're slowly going to release back. Warrior two, stretch out, get big. Quick extended side angle, reach forward. Elbow to thigh, or maybe reach for a block as you take the top arm over, look up. Rotate the top hand down to the floor. We're going to walk it to the left. Wide-legged fold. Go side to side. And then with nice parallel feet, lift from your arches to your knees, your knees to your hips, your hips to your crown. Rise. Warrior two, other leg. Turn the left toes out or other side. Bend into the knee, really focusing on rooting the foot into the floor with our stability. 
from that stable place, peaceful warrior, go back, open up, breathe. Shoulder stretch, bend the top elbow, find your back. Grab the top elbow, go back and touch more. If you took the full cow face on the first side, give it a shot here. Be open to new experience. We're all going to look a little different. We're all going to make different adjustments, but we're all getting the same benefit. One more breath. Slow release, warrior two, get big in your space. Cartwheeling down to the wide-legged fold, walk it to the side. Any version of this you'd like here, a lovely inversion, head below heart. If you have a headstand practice, feel free to take that. Truly, any version of this you want, walking the hands through the legs, Maybe you're going to reach out towards one side and then the other. Feel free to experiment and play. We'll take four, maybe five breaths. Try to get the head below the heart, the heart below the belly, maybe even belly below groin. Inversion has all sorts of yummy benefits. They literally change our perspective, the way we see things, helping us open up to new experience. One more breath. And now starting to build the exit. Take your time, be kind to yourself. <sighs> Pivot on the toes, walk to the top of the mat. One final downward dog. If you need another quick flow, feel free to grab that here. We are going to meet in child's pose. Take a moment in your child's pose. And when you're ready, next we're gonna build hero pose. Awesome place for blocks. If you don't have them, don't worry. Every day is very different with this for me. So just taking it as it comes, knowing that it's good for you, no matter what you look like in the pose. So basic hips to heels, knees bent. Sometimes my knees say, no thank you. <clears throat> We're always gonna be kind to knees. My feet have been really tight lately, so I'm gonna take the toe tuck variation. Tucking the toes under, I need to reach back and pull my pinky toes forward. They don't come on their own. And then starting to sit up. And about here, I start to kind of listen. How's it going? I've done this a few times this week already, so I'm kind of able to sit in and breathe. You can make this as intense as you want. You can sit in a totally different shape if you want. It's all good. What we're going for is some thigh stretch. So lengthen from your hips to your knees, your knees to the floor. Sit up tall. There are variations of this where you walk the hands back. You can add some more intensity in the feet if you're doing the toe tuck under variation by taking the arms up. I'm good with my hands on my thighs today. That's enough for me. And then we breathe. Be mindful. Are you holding on the face and the shoulders? That can help you here. Melt into it. See two more breaths. Inhale, white light. Exhale, white leg. All right. Release. Ooh. Be kind to yourself, especially if you take the toe tuck version. Pick the feet up. Get some blood flow back. And crossing at the ankles, we're going to roll back into a version of boat pose. So, beginning, give yourself a big bear hug. Tuck your face in. Imagine you're hugging someone you love. Building up any version of boat put you want boat is great here. Maybe you're going to pick up the feet. Maybe you're going to grab behind the thighs, sit back some more. Maybe you're going to go for that low sunken boat. Burning out the core work, burning out any last fire. Use this energy, this effort 
to burn and cleanse anything you don't need out. Deep breath. Relax the shoulders. And then however you like to get there, I'm gonna rock a little front to back. Come on to the back. Knees to chest. Take some motion here. Move the knees around all different directions. If you prefer, you can grab a happy baby here. Keep the shoulders soft. Couple of breaths. bridge pose here. If there's something else you'd prefer before resting, something your body needs more, please feel free to do that. It's wonderful mindfulness. You can use a block or two for your bridge, make it supported bridge, just simply by lifting the hips, letting them rest on the block underneath. That's one of my favorite poses. Full bridge, again, do you. Shoulders underneath you. Ground the feet, the toes, and scoop the tailbone to the knees. Think long in the thighs. Be mindful of what's going in the neck. Don't collapse the throat. Take a deep breath. In the bridge pose, reach under your glute flesh, your bum. Scoop that tailbone, that bum flesh towards your heels, and then roll the hips down. Might feel nice to get the knees a gentle rock side to side. Coming into final relaxation, Shavasana. I love a bolster after this practice, nice support in the spine if you've got one or a pillow, something handy you want to use. However, you're going to be comfortable. Legs up the wall, lay on your back, roll on your stomach, any way you want to be is fantastic. Sometimes you can really relax and be comfortable. Go ahead and go there now. Shavasana, that final resting pose. Give yourself permission to be still, to relax. Close down the eyes. Let's take a quick body scan to relax our outer coating, our shell, if you will. Start at the crown, the top of the head, soften there. Now the third eye right side of the face and jaw, left side of the face and jaw, right side of the neck, left side of the neck, right shoulder, left shoulder, right arm, left arm, the heart center, stomach, pelvis, groin, Right hip, right leg, left hip, left leg. The whole body, the whole entire body, the whole entire body, all together. As you continue to lay here and relax, Imagine yourself in a peaceful place, wherever comes to mind. Finding some place that brings you peace, some place where you can fully surrender and relax, and visualize yourself there.
here in this peaceful place, I'm going to talk you through a meta meditation. That means a loving kindness meditation. The type of loving kindness we're talking about is unconditional love. It is compassion at our most basic and true self. This meditation first begins with us focusing this loving, compassionate energy towards ourself. First, we must love ourselves before we can love others. In your mind's eye here, see yourself in this peaceful place and say to yourself, may I be safe? May I be happy? May I be healthy? May I be joyful. One more time, say to yourself, may I be safe? May I be happy? May I be healthy? May I be joyful? Next, cultivating loving kindness towards a good friend or a loved one. Visualize this person and say to them, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyful. Next, cultivating loving kindness towards someone you feel neutral about. See this person and say to them, May you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyful. Lastly, the optional one, cultivating loving kindness towards someone you feel hostile towards. And if that doesn't work for you, come back to loving kindness for yourself. Say to this person or yourself, may you be safe, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyful. gently roll to a side mindfully breathing in and out pure white light find your way up into seated Gradually bringing hands together at the heart center and bowing the chin in towards your higher consciousness. I like to seal our practices by tapping the fingers to the third eye, signifying peaceful thoughts. Then to the mouth, peaceful words. And finally to the heart center, peaceful actions. Thank you. Namaste. Everybody. Let's see. And there was everybody. Hey guys.